Pam McFarlane suffered from a common condition in women called pelvic organ prolapse. It's estimated some 50% of all women in the U.S. have some form of the condition as they age. You have a pelvic organ prolapse, so that herniation that you feel and that bulge is all coming from essentially a herniation in the vaginal area. It, it was a feeling as if your internal organs were about to fall out onto the sidewalk. Just everything hanging very low and feeling very uncomfortable. The normal support of the vagina and the adjoining organs, the bladder and the rectum, require an intact vaginal like. wall, this intact support. Sort of During life events such as childbirth, occupations, even genetics can contribute to weaknesses or deficiencies in the support of the bladder and the rectum and the uterus. This is the vaginal and this is the uterus here, here's the rectum. And then these can herniate out to the vaginal opening or beyond. And this is what contributes to the symptoms of pelvic organ prolapse. Pam underwent a laparoscopic robotic procedure at UCLA to correct the problem. Anita is undergoing the same procedure today. A prolapse is a very uncomfortable situation. I'm a very active person and I think I'm still relatively young and um, I was excited to know that it could be done laparoscopically and I think it's kind of exciting to think they're going to be using a robot. <laughs> Dr. Tarnay uses the most advanced robotic technology, allowing the corrective surgery to be performed through small ports in the abdomen. Dr. Tarnay is at the controls a few feet away. The robot allows us excellent three-dimensional visualization, allows us to reproduce the intricate movements of our hand, which allowed us to avoid a large abdominal incision. Reducing her hospitalization, reducing her recovery time, and reducing her pain medicine requirement. In this case, Dr. Tarney removes part of the uterus, leaving other structures, including the ovaries and the opening to the uterus, or cervix, intact. Thin mesh straps are then sewn to the vaginal walls, securing the anatomy in its proper place. By doing this, we're able to support and elevate the vaginal walls, preventing the herniation uh, and then thereby reducing the symptoms of pelvic organ prolapse. After surgery, Pam spent the night at UCLA and went home the next day. The biggest surprise for me was how great I felt immediately. I did not expect that. Dr. Tarnay told me that, but I didn't believe him. I said, oh yeah, right. But actually, the second day, I felt like doing cartwheels. I took exactly one dose of pain meds the first day. I never took any more pain medication. I just felt great. It's important to know that you don't, that women don't have to continue to suffer with this condition in silence. Often embarrassment or concern about large surgeries prevent women from seeking care. It's important that women know that there are options. He kind of looked up and said, you know, I have a plan and we can fix all of this. It's fixable. And he was right. It was all fixable. <laughs>